All right, hello and welcome back to fifth grade math for today. Um, this is week one, day four. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. It says write four hundredths in standard form. So let's do that. Um, I like to select purple as one of my favorite colors. All right, so now we have that selected. Um, if you've noticed, this says hundredths with a TH on the end. So that means that we're dealing with decimals. So I like to write my decimal out first, and then I write three little spaces there. So I have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, all right? And it says four hundredths. So that's telling me that there is a four here in the hundredths place, right? And I'm gonna fill the rest in with zeros. Um, that last zero, you could leave it or you can leave it off, right? So in standard form, this is, um, sorry, let me erase that. Come on. All right, so in standard form, I have four hundredths, okay? All right, the next one says, what is the value of four in the number 745. So again, um, we're going to write it out. We need to know our place value, right? Um, there's no decimal in this number that I don't see. And so when the number does not have a decimal, where do you put it? At the end, always at the end, right? So um, let's write this out. So we have 745. And because we're in fifth grade, we're going to write a decimal at the end just because we're dealing with decimals this year. Um, and then you can put zeros behind that if you want to. But this is going to help you kind of figure out where um, the value of these digits are sitting, right? So if my decimal is here, we're counting the opposite way. So we're going this way, right? In this problem, we were going um, to the right, which the value was getting smaller. So now the value is gonna increase, right? So uh, from the decimal, we have ones, tens, and hundreds, but it's asking for the value of the four. So because the four is in the what place? The tens place, the value is 40, right? Whoops, four zero, or four tens. Okay, you can say either or, okay? But you need to know the value. All right, all right, let's look at this number. So um, at first I thought that was a decimal, but it's actually a comma. So that is 70,000 divided by 7,000. Wow, those are some really big numbers, but I'm gonna show you a trick really quick. So let's write these numbers out. So 70,000, right? And I'm going to line these up. So I have 7,000, right? I'm going to put a line right there. Does anybody know what that line means in math? It's a fraction bar. What does a fraction bar mean? To divide, right? So here's my trick, my shortcut. I'm going to show you. And then in class, we'll actually, you know, we'll learn the longer way in class. But here's a shortcut. So let's cross out these zeros here, right? So let's get rid of these, zero, 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 and get rid of those. I'm gonna stop right there because now I see 70 and seven by itself. Remember that, that bar, that fraction bar means to divide. So what is 70 divided by seven? So if you write it out like this, that looks a little better, right? Okay, so 70 divided by seven is how many times? You should have said 10, right? 10 times 7 is 70. So 7,000 goes into 70,000 10 times. That's it. All right, let's do the last problem. Um, whew, this looks really difficult. Oh, my goodness. I hope you have your pencil and your paper out and you've solved this already. Let me erase all of this. Okay, so I don't know if you remember when we did question, um, I think it was question one on day one, um, and it was asking us to just kind of follow the steps, and I told you to put it in parentheses. 
So these parentheses, they're basically telling me what to do first. So I see seven um, plus eight. So let's write it over here. Seven plus eight in parentheses. And then I'm going to put a plus sign there. And then it says, I have another parentheses, 56 divided by seven. Okay, so I have my problem written out. Let's do basically what it's telling us to do step by step. What is seven plus eight? Well, in my mind, I know that seven plus seven is 14. That would leave one more. So seven plus eight, that has to be 15, right? Okay, and 56 divided by seven. Well, you have to know your multiples of seven. And again, in class, I'll show you the longer way, but just for um, this and the sake of time, right? So 56 divided by seven, I know that that is um, eight, right? So this parentheses here is eight. So I have 15 plus eight. Now you just add, all right? And you can, you can line it up if you need to line it up. That's perfectly fine, all right? Eight plus five, so I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna carry my one. One plus one is two. So I know that that answer is 23. Whew, man, we did it. Great week. And I will see you tomorrow.